Well, on nice days like today, you can find crowds of walkers and cyclists along the Greenway, and one group of people plans to soon stand out. They are part of the new Greenway Ambassador Program, and their goal is to help people and to keep the area safe. WSOS 10's Bree Jackson has more on who the ambassadors are and how you can identify them. With close to 300,000 people using the Greenway each year, local leaders want to make sure help is here if needed. We're getting more and more tourists, so it's good to have somebody who knows where things are, where's their bathroom, where's their water fountain. Soon, those questions will be answered by Greenway ambassadors. Belcher says this summer she hopes to have 12 to 20 trained volunteers wear brightly colored shirts or vest and help people along the path. In addition to providing information, they'll serve as an extra set of eyes and ears. The police department will is helping to conduct the training, and they'll do scenarios of how to approach people in a non-confrontational way. Um, what kinds of things to spot as potentially um, unusual behavior or unusual circumstances, um, what they should report to 911 versus what, what you would report to the non emergency number. The group starts just one month after Alexander Billow was convicted of abduction charges. Police say he groped a woman on the Greenway last summer. Belcher says this new program is a proactive approach to preventing future problems. People who walk it every day, they'll notice if something's different, if there's a new sign that's broken, if there's somebody who's been sitting on the same bench for 10 hours. They might notice that, and that might be something that they then report to the police just to have it checked out. In addition to officers, organizers hope that ambassadors serve as another friendly presence in the area and help protect the Greenway and the people who use it. In Roanoke, Bree Jackson, WSLS 10.